Hello friends, it's printing time. Yesterday we printed lowercase j's and today we're going to be printing lowercase p's. And a p makes the p sound, like in puppies. Are there some other words that make the p sound at the beginning that you can think of? You are exactly right, my friends. Those were some great words. And when we're making a lowercase piece today, you'll notice that they're down below that bottom line. If you can't print this paper out, no big deal. Just make it in a notebook or on scrap piece of paper. But please remember to keep uh, your piece that you printed to put in your virtual folder or upload what you've done into your Google Classroom for your teacher to see. Let's begin. Now we're gonna start on the dot. We're gonna make a straight big line down. We're going to dive down. We're going to swim up and over making a small curve and around to that bottom line and close it up. Now, if you notice, my uh, small curve curved around to that bottom line. It's touching the top line that we have and the bottom line here. Try to keep your small curve that you curve around between those two lines for me. Let's make another one. Dive down, swim up, and curve around. Just like that. But be careful, make sure your bubble or your curve is bumping that top and bottom line. And sometimes it's tricky because when you dive down and you swim up, you need to stay on that line that you dive down with not swim back up and make a new line and curve around. We don't want to see that on our page. And I know friends, it's tempting that if you do do that, to fill it in and color it in like that, but that's not the choice we make here in kindergarten. If we made a mistake, no big deal. Just take your eraser and erase it to start again. And if you need help erasing, ask an adult. So friends, I need you to print more lowercase p's for me. And I wish you all well.